him. All right, okay. Pretty good. Looks good, looks good. Looks good. That was about five feet. Huh? About five feet. Got him that time. Got a hooks at it. Ow! Get me! Holy mackerel! There he goes! You didn't have a lot of air all that could have. Look at him down there. Look at the bubbles coming up the surface now. Got him that time. Yeah, I got it. All right. I got him. There he is, Jack. Oh, man, Rick! Pays off, huh? All right. Where she go? I don't know yet. Looks like a big one, Jack. Yeah, that's all right, Rick. I'm gonna get through my line and get out of the way. Oh, sir, you're just talking about around uh, Black Pole. Right now we're searching for fish. I'm seeing scattered fish along the bottom all through here. What I'm doing is looking for more than one fish stacked up. This time of the morning is uh, prime time. This is when the fish are biting, just before the sun hits the water. So you really got to be on some numbers. No sense in wasting your time to one fish. Okay, Jack. Go. Down we go. Uh, right here, Jack, we got 180 feet. The fish are from 5 to 20 feet up. I got mine about five, six cranks up, and I got fish looking at it right here. Okay, what we're got fish on. Right. What we're doing is vertically jigging for Mackinac, and right now we're at about 160 feet of water, and we got a good one going there. <laughs> I was about 30 feet off. What we're using are four ounce bomber jigs and tipped with a minnow with razor sharp hooks. And the key. Oh, had one, had one, lost it. The key to the whole thing is keeping contact with your jig. In other words, when you jerk up, let it drop so you feel your jig dropping because these fish hit it on the drop every time. And here comes the fish. That's okay, Jack, I'm not gonna net him. And we got a nice Mackinac, probably about four pounds. There she is, folks. And these fish will be just fine. I'm releasing them. If they have a hard time going because their belly swell because the air expands as they rise towards the surface. If he has a hard time going, we'll let some air out of him with a, a needle. But I suspect he's going to be just fine. Just give him a little spanking, and he's gone. He's going right on down. Yeah, Rick, we've probably been jigging, what, 10, 12 years now out here? Yeah. And uh, it's become real popular. Uh, a lot of people used to use the wire line trolling deep and dragging the bottom, but you get a lot more fight out of a fish by doing it this way instead of using six, 800 feet of manel or copper wire. That was before fish finders were popular, or even were uh, the advent of fish finders. So you were really unable just to sit on top and be confident that there was fish under you. But after these fish finders came out, you knew exactly what was down there. And so you had the advantage of, uh, did you get a bite? No, thought I did. But... Had the advantage of uh, knowing there's fish under you. So you have confidence in uh, what you got under you. So you're able to work these. And bingo. Okay, Jack, let him rip. All right, let her go. And we have about three fish under us, and they seem to be about 10, 15 feet off the bottom right here. So, Jack, you want to come up? Okay. Four, five, six cranks anyway. Jack, I see your jig. Just turn your handle, fish it right there. Right there. You're right on him, buddy. 
So this is this is the jig working up and down. This is the Mackinac right here, taking a look at it. Actually, there are several there. You can see one splitting away. We have the other rod working right off the bottom. You can see there's a Mackinac interested in that also. They got one coming up right up to Jack's right now. Got him. Here, Sean. What mo most uh, guys have problems with their fish finder is they don't have their power cranked up high enough for this lake. Uh, there's usually an adjustment on all uh, fish finders. And uh, with this one, I know if I don't have the gain or the power cranked up all the way, you're just not going to see the fish solid enough. No, I don't want to net it, Jack. Well, yeah, go ahead. It's a nice fish. Here she comes. That's a dandy there. Let me just do it like this, Jack. 